Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to do a quick video to show how easy it is to update an ESP32 over the year. Uh, I've been using this for a few projects recently where I've not had easy access to the USB port and updating over Wi-Fi has been a lifesaver. So obviously the first thing we need to do is to actually get Wi-Fi up and running. So, oops. in our setup, initialize Wi-Fi. So this is just the standard Wi-Fi setup. So we do begin, and then we wait to actually be connected. Now, the next thing we need to do is to bring in the Arduino over the air header. And now you can do some really nice stuff with this. So the first thing we'll do is set a host name. So this will make our ESP32 appear on our local network with a friendly name rather than an IP address. Now we need to actually wire up the Arduino over the air start method. So here we can see that we can find out what's being updated. Is it the sketch or the spiffs? And then there's also an on-end event, so we can wire that up. Now obviously, when you're connected via Wi-Fi, these serial prints won't actually do anything. Um, we can also wire up an on-progress event. So in this on-progress, I'm going to turn the LED off and on every time the percent value changes. And then there's also an on-error event. So this lets us detect um, failures during the update process. And then finally, we just need to tell the over-the-air system to actually start. And then the last thing is in our loop, we have to service the over-the-air system by calling Arduino OTA handle. Um, so that's basically it. So let's uh, download this to our ESP32. Now if we go to tools underneath ports we'll now see that we have ESP test. So we can now select this for the port. You'll see down here that the IDE says we're now talking to an ESP module on this IP address. Um, now just to prove this actually works, I'm gonna disconnect the USB from the computer and I'll power from a little USB power bank. Um, and let's change our frequency of writing so that we flash the LED in a different pattern. So now let's um, push this to our ESP device. So you can see our LED is flashing as the um, new sketch is downloaded. And now you can see it's running our new sketch as the LED is pulsing with a different frequency. So let's do that again. Let's make this even shorter so it's really obvious that it's changed. So the download is happening now. 
we reboot and you can see our LED is now flashing rapidly. So this is a really nice way of getting sketches onto your ESP32 device and it's, um, it's really simple to set up and make work. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.